Right here, I have this multi-function car vacuum. Let me go ahead and open this up and show you everything it comes with. Right here is the actual car vacuum itself. It does have this nice carrying bag so you can keep this and all the accessories in here. The other accessories that this comes with is a little cleaning brush. It comes with a long suction nozzle right here. I really like this for getting into tight spaces, especially under seats of your car. And right here we have this nice two-in-one suction nozzle. If you push this part up, you do have the brush option. And when you put this down, you just have your regular nozzle right here, which is perfect. There already is a HEPA filter inside the vacuum itself, but this is a little extra HEPA filter. This does come with a charge cable. This is just a USB to Type-C charge cable. And these are all the different nozzles that it comes with, just depending on what you're gonna be using this for. So you can see right here, this is the large nozzle. This is gonna be perfect for putting air into things with that size of a hole. This is a silicone nozzle. That's gonna be perfect for just conforming this to shape whatever shape you need this to be in. And then we have these medium and small size nozzles as well. This is gonna be perfect for pumping up things like inner tubes and things like that. Something that I really like about this vacuum is that it actually has a 30 minute runtime when you're using it on eco mode. And when you're using this on fast mode, it has a 16 minute runtime, which is perfect for all your car needs. You can see right here on the bottom is where the charge port is. And then to access the top part of the vacuum, you just press this little button and you can easily dump out the contents into the garbage. In order to remove this top section, you're just going to twist this and it's removed. This is how you're gonna access the HEPA filter. You can easily take this portion out and wash it and remove the HEPA filter and put the replacement in if you need to. So in order to use this, if you're gonna be using this for vacuuming in your car, for example, then you're gonna be using the suction end of this. You're just gonna press the power button and use the suction on this side with any of the vacuum attachments that you might need. You can see just like this. If you need to use this to inflate an inflatable ring or an inflatable mattress, or you need to use this to blow out air, for example, you're gonna put your attachments over here on this end. You can see just like so. There also is this light button right here. You can press to have a little bit dimmer light. You can press it again for a larger light, which is gonna be perfect to be able to see, or just for when you're using it in the car for emergency flashlight. And if you push it for the third time, it has the SOS emergency light, which is always useful to have available in your car. The first time you push the power button, it's gonna turn on low mode, and you push the button again, it's gonna turn on the high mode. Okay, nice, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I would use this in my car. Overall, this was really nice and easy to use in the car. It's gonna be so useful for all the things in the summer and winter that we're going to find useful in the car, whether it's vacuuming out the car, using it to inflate a last minute little inflatable, or using it for the emergency flasher lights. I did like that you could also use this for items in the house. For example, this yoga ball here. Overall, this is gonna be really useful.